Can we just go around the horn and just get general reactions to to what we've read so far in Michael Wolff's book? I mean, any White House would be knocked on its heels, if not on its behind, by a book like this, mm -hmm. right? I, I can't even think about what to compare it to. There is nothing in the history of presidents that I'm aware of, even in the sort of modern era of White House aides, leaving and quickly writing tell-all books mm -hmm, while the mm -hmm. president is still in office. There has never been so much to tell. Some people are warning us to take this with a grain of salt, though, right? And these stories, it's a testament to how crazy the presidency has been that we read these things that are completely wild and we say, oh, yes, that makes sense. With this book, there are three issues, uh, three problems, I think, that face the Trump administration. There's a political problem, a personal problem, and a legal problem. Of the three, which one is the most, of all the damaging things, which one of the three is the most damaging to the administration? I'm gonna say that the least damaging is the legal problem. Wait, what? The least damaging? Be what, where is the, le where, the book is not admit, mm -hmm. let me say this, chances are very good, like 100%, that President Trump's lawyers are not going to be able to enjoin publication of this book, hint, go see the Post movie if you want to know how efforts to enjoin publication turn out uh, in America with the First Amendment. Um, but I actually don't see, and tell me what I'm missing here, of where Bannon's um, description of antics at the White House or in Trump Tower actually adds to the legal case against Trump. I don't see the new facts coming out there. The, the, the anecdote that, well, it, it's, it's not an anecdote so much as an observation of Bannon that it would surprise him if at that June 9th meeting that Don Jr. did not take mm -hmm. the, the Russians up to see his father. That doesn't create a legal problem. It creates a question that I suspect Robert S. Mueller III was smart enough to ask and will be smart enough to ask place. even without yeah. having been prompted by Bannon slash Wolf. I think it's the personal that's the most damning element of this and that there's so little loyalty here. Like, right, it's not surprising that, he, that, that uh, that's everybody's perception of the president, but his people close to him are saying that it has this rats on a ship kind of a, a feeling that mm -hmm. I'm not associated with this.